Hello and welcome to Art with Miss Anderson. This is a quick video on how to do line art or geometric op art. So do some nice fluid straight lines like this. It always helps to kind of warm up and practice just like I'm doing on the page. What we don't want is the shorter choppier lines you see where you're kind of sketching along. A lot of times your actual pencil position can help with this. So make sure that your grip is nice and relaxed. To do work like Daryl Carey, it helps that you sketch out your curves beforehand. From there, you're going to create a series of lines matching up to that curve. Then come back and create another series of lines that connect to those lines. And those are going to connect to the next curve over that you've kind of sketched out. As much as you can, you want to have fluid lines. Don't worry about them being perfect or straight or unperfect. When you back away, it's all just still going to have that really cool op art effect. Make sure that you're planning on the lines meeting up. That's sort of the key to getting his effect. And rewatch that video from the slideshow. Despite the fact there's not very many instructions in it, if you do rewatch it over and over again, you can see how he creates the patterns and the sort of methodology that emerges. Next up, we have op art using a square pattern. The trick to this is that you're always joining your line just slightly off from the opposite side. Although I'm switching the direction of how I make the line, the direction of the pattern is counterclockwise. Continuing on until each line, you can't make lines anymore, really. So here's your square. You start from one side and you go across to the other side, joining always just slightly apart. Now, even though it seems as if your lines begin to curve, all of these lines are actually straight, which makes it all that more remarkable that at the end, you ha really have this feeling of being a spiral. So what's also cool about these patterns is that as you're doing them, if you add boxes, if you plan out going counterclockwise in one, clockwise in the other, you can have them join together and start to repeat the pattern in a really interesting way. So for example, on the one side, it looks as if it's being twisted. And on the other side, it looks as if it's become a fan or maybe like a stingray, like a, like a cool stingray flying through the water. I couldn't resist the urge to do one last square. And so here is the final problem. So you are working on thumbnail sketches for a geometric line art or op art design. Plan out beforehand with sketching, but don't pre-draw every single line. Go ahead and sketch out the basic format then just dive in with the fluid strokes of the pen. The fluid strokes of the pen, nice and long and even. Remember to try your best and definitely try the styles that you really enjoy looking at the most and have fun.